Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. I am your host, your real property manager. Alrighty, so on to our next story. So my last video was kind of like a little PSA, um, a little serious, so I felt like maybe I should do something a little bit funnier today. Um, so um, let's just get right into the story. So I'm going to be sharing two stories today. Um, so the first one um, actually comes from a property. They actually did not give me the uh, state, but that's okay. Um, so basically the story begins with a maintenance uh, staff. Um, like I said before, I swear they have the best stories. Like, <laughs> they're, they're like I swear, I'm, I, I'll just try to make friends with them because they have just the, the best stories sometimes. Um, anyways, so... It is a, um, <clears throat> it's a uh, story where um, there was a particular resident that, um, not that they had trouble with him, um, just I guess he was like known um, amongst the uh, staff and maintenance staff. So um, I guess they did this uh, back and forth, uh, you know, your turn, my turn kind of deal. Um, between this maintenance staff and I guess uh, he mentioned there was two so um, so two maintenance staff um, and I guess it was this particular one's time now so they ended up he ended up uh, calling the resident can I come in now uh, do I have permission to enter he said yes so off he goes um, and he didn't give me the details of what the service request was I don't think it really matters but he pretty much said it was something super easy so, meaning, uh, it's probably like a, you know, exchange a light bulb or, you know, just an air, air filter or something, you know. Um, so, he goes in and knocks on the door and uh, he doesn't uh, respond. The resident doesn't respond. So, you know, he has permission to enter. So, he goes in. Um, he goes in and he finds the resident on the couch um, just watching TV. Um, the TV is like super loud. And, um, I guess he is in his birthday suit and I guess this is like a known thing for him to do. Um, yeah, I guess they've talked to him before, um, about it, you know, if we're coming in to make sure <laughs> to please wear clothes, who needs a reminder of that? I guess he does. Um, <laughs> be, that being said, that's actually a little bit of a touchy subject. At, like if you look at it both ways, um, because you know the resident just he can pull out the I'm at home <laughs> I'm relaxing um, so you know um, I don't see the me causing any uh, you know violations or whatnot um, but in turn the maintenance staff can say you know they are uncomfortable they can't go in because you know they they don't want to go in to complete any service requests because um, they feel uncomfortable sorry um, so it's like a slippery slope on both sides. Um, but I, so this property he mentioned is an older property, um, like 30 plus years old. So the resident had been there for like 20 plus years. And like I mentioned, everybody knew him. Um, he was not a problem resident. Um, so again, that also becomes tricky because if he's not one ever making noise, anyone ever calling on him, like to, that he's this or he's that or any sort of trouble and pays rent on time and has renewed his lease on time and never argued over a rent increase, it, it becomes a little tricky and a little tough to like, hey, you know. Um, but um, at the end, you know, he completed the service request quickly. He did ask him, like, you know, before he went in, like, oh, you know, it's okay. Like, you know, is it okay if I still go in? Um, you know, he was naked. <laughs> and he said, no, that's fine. That's fine. And then the maintenance guy actually asked him, like, oh, is it okay if you uh, put it like a, you know, cover up, you know? Um, so the resident quickly just grabbed a blanket from his couch and covered his area. <laughs> um, and, yeah, quickly went in took care of the service quest and he was gone. That was it. He said he was in and out in less than five minutes. So, <laughs> uh, just another interesting life uh, in 
you know, in the maintenance life at this point. <laughs> so, yeah, so that was the first story.